that's how the film begins with those four letters. Actually, that was for the London Film Festival. That wasn't for the film itself. But what a way to start a film called The Endless, uh, directed by a duo. I, I don't, did you catch the names, Adam? Um, A and J, the two directors who came from the mean streets of West Hollywood to come together for their third feature film. <laughs> um, no, I, it was a, I thought it was a very interesting film. It was a genre piece, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I think I turned to Adam, behind the camera of course, uh, at the beginning of the film and said, um, oh, is this going to be like an edge of your seat thrill ride or a, something like that? Sort of being a bit condescending because I was expecting a slow film about like genital mutilation or something like that. Um, but it wasn't. It was actually sort of a film you'd, you'd maybe see it like a Fright Fest or like a sci-fi thing like that. Like, uh, what are those? The Harvey Awards? What's the Saturn Awards? <laughs> Jupiter Awards? Uh, you get it. Like a sci-fi. So it was interesting. Um, for a micro-budget film as well, it, it had a very... I guess standard start, you knew something was up with it, um, you knew it was beyond the surface, but um, it was interesting, uh, it was a, it, the film started, you know, I'd say fairly late in the evening, and for some of us, you know, we wake up early, we go to work, we do our days, it's long days, it's long days, you get tired, you doze off occasionally, um, I, I might close my eyes for a couple of minutes there, but I thought uh, overall the film was really well done, uh, I don't know the budget of it, but I think Judging that they said their first film was 20,000. Did they say it was this film, or their first film was 20,000? I think it was the first film. Yeah, so this must have been a bit more, or maybe it was right around that same uh, same figure, but it was well done. I mean, the main, one of the main actors said he did the special effects uh, in After Effects, which is really good. I mean, there were decent effects in there. Uh, lots of weird, like, little teleportation and time rifts and bubbles and things like that. Um, they didn't try to do anything too big for the budget, which I thought was good. Um, and the two guys, the two directors, acted in it as well. And I didn't think they were... They, they were fine. They were very naturalistic. Um, you'd believe that they were in this world, I guess. And that's always the thing. Sometimes even actors can oversell it and you can tell they're acting. Whereas they just felt like they were two guys. Two guys living in a crazy life. Going to the camp. Time bubbles. Things like that. Uh, overall, yeah, I thought it was a, it was enjoyable. I'd like to sort of sit sit down again in the comfort of my own house and maybe take it all in, uh, probably in the daylight hours, and uh, not not relaxing. Definitely a cup of coffee in my hand. is It's a bit of a slow start. It's a long film, long film to to sit through, but uh, at the end it really picks up, and uh, yeah, I enjoyed it to an extent. How's that for a glowing review? Mm. What are you doing? Hal said, answer, it's the bottom of this lake. So I'm going to the bottom of this lake. Answer to what? Exactly what it is. Well, that's way culty. Okay, so we just got out. And considering the last time I watched a film without knowing what it was going to be about was, I think, 2005's Honey, which I walked out of. That was a vast improvement over Honey. Um, considering that the main... The, the two, similar plots, though. Similar plots. Um, no dance-off in this one, which I don't think it needed it, if I'm honest. Uh, considering that, like, the main... Uh, the, the two directors, who was also the writer and the visual artist, and the main actors in it, and by their own admission that they're not fucking trained actors. They did a really good job, and I thought like, at first I was a bit annoyed because I was like, who the fuck are these two characters? And I was like, just wanting to be told straight away like what the deal was. But they kind of like, as the film got on, you learn more about them and stuff, and I kind of appreciated it, that a bit of a slow burn, saying that it is quite a long film. So, I would agree with Frank and say maybe just, you know, half six, cup of coffee, Maybe a beer. You might enjoy it a little bit more. Um, but I thought it was really impressive. And, you know, they did it on such a small budget, apparently. Um, I mean, what is a small budget? You know, 20,000 is a lot to some other people. Um, some people, it's nothing. But, yeah, no, apparently they did it on a quite a small budget. And I really enjoyed it, actually. And I just love the whole, like, world that they built. And I know that they spoke about, like, their first film was, like, actually, this third film was kind of built on the, the first film. 
but I've never seen the first film, so I'm going in there straight with like fresh eyes, and I would really recommend it. And if you don't like it, I don't care. I don't care. Well, Do you reckon at the end of the first film, Samuel L. Jackson shows up at the end of the credits? And goes, damn. I'm putting together a team. Well, gotta go. See ya. And he's off. And I'm gonna steal his camera. The camera.